All right, everybody, welcome back. It's been a while, but um, you know, there's not really been any new games that have come out recently. That I've been too interested in. We've got some more coming out in October. Scorn is one I'm looking forward to. The RE8 DLC. But for now, I'm gonna do a full walkthrough of Code Veronica. I did the like first 50 minutes or so, but I'm gonna start from scratch and do the whole walkthrough because this is still my favorite Resident Evil to this day. So. I figured it only Resident deserved it. Evil. So yeah, sit back and enjoy. The American Midwestern town, Raccoon City, has been completely decimated due to the T-Virus outbreak that was instigated by the international corporation Umbrella. Claire Redfield, who arrived in Raccoon City to search for her lost brother Chris and a rookie police officer, Leon S. Kennedy, managed to escape from the city. But their ordeal was only a prelude of things to come. Three months later. Identification number is WKD4496. <sighs> Welcome to your new home. Her name is Claire Redfield. We caught her trespassing in our Paris Lab facility ten days ago. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the surviving members of RPD's famous STARS teams. Damn. Those opening cinematics are still the hope. Thank <laughs> you. 
perfect. Go on. Get out of here. This place is finished. I don't know, it might have been a special forces team. But in any case, this prison's been taken over. Troops have been wiped out. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. But you may as well know, you have no chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. Well then, I won't worry about you. But yeah, this game is like over 20 years old now, just remember, so like I am playing on the Series X, so I guess things would look a little better, but still, it's pretty damn impressive what they managed to do like 20 years ago, and yeah, again, I think this is the, um, uh, I think it was the first Resident Evil game to have like 3D rendered backgrounds, so pretty cool. A single ink ribbon. Yeah, I guess we will do that. Just in case we have an early death. And we don't, so we don't have to sit through those cutscenes again. Okay. I highly doubt I'm even going to use this knife, but whatever. Ooh, this is so intense. This is something you just can't get with the newer games as good as they are. That door opening sequence or going up the stairs and the controller rumbling from the heartbeat. It's just crazy. So that's pretty crazy, like... Oh. But... The fact that it, it looks like... Yeah, I'm stuck. The T Veronica is actually, like, seeped into the ground, because... To my knowledge... I don't think there's been another RE game... Where the zombies have actually come out of the ground. Oh! Oh! Shoot. Who are you? Huh? You're not a zombie. Well, great. Wait right there. I'm coming over. Uh, sorry about that little misunderstanding, but I thought you were another one of those monsters. Shut up. Make one wrong move and I'll shoot. Relax, beautiful. I said I was sorry. My name's Steve. I was a prisoner on this island. And I'm guessing you're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire? Hmm. Nice. I'll remember that. Hey, 
hear there's an airport around here. Well, once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. Well, I'll see ya. Hey, wait up! I don't want you following me, lady. You'll only slow me down. Everybody's favorite, Mr. Burnside. So, right, we can't get in there yet. That one's welded shut, so we only got one option, really. Yes, there is. Okay. Mix those bad boys together. And yes, I'm sorry, but the playing manual being an actual item that takes up inventory space is still annoying to me. That was pretty epic, that you can actually, like, aim your gun in this game. And, you know, do headshots, all that. Take him out of the knees. Oh, there's the map. Now, I do have to be careful here, yep. Okay. Stuff? Oh no, it's just the herb. Jeez, part of me almost wants to get hit. I need inventory space already. Oh, they're really gonna split up. Come on. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Well, I got my wish. for what you wish for. Right, 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 okay. Creepy diary time. Yikes. Um, so yeah. It sucks that taking hand bullets gets you killed. Does this guy have anything? He does. Now the fun begins. Sick. Ah, oh, with you, Bodmon. Whatever, we got some new guns. We got handgun bullets. Only had to heal once. Now, like, I know, like, a lot of people like the knife in this game. I just could never get used to it. Hey, 
Goodbye. Yeah, I could never get used to it. It was just like, especially with tank controls and you're trying to fight guys off with that knife and... Ugh, no thanks. Not worth me time. This. This was the beauty of this gun. Just being able to sh shoot two enemies at once. Yeah, Gertie, you too. I must release the lock. Let's do it. Ah, oh, the, the most annoying thing in the world. In the security box. And the annoying thing about this is you can't get rid of that playing manual. It will only let you put metallic items in. So anyway. Let's get our stuff. It's such a tease, too, that they give you all of these things so damn early. First aid spray, grenade rounds. Alright, so yeah, we need a metal plate and to duplicate it so we can carry it through the metal detector without being detected, obviously. Chris Redfield. What are you doing here? Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah. Your siblings. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? I've got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey, I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. No way. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know! What was that all about? Man has some serious family issues. Anyway, there's our emblem. That needs to be duplicated. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder... I wonder what Steve was doing there, pushing all those buttons. It's literally just a lever. <laughs> Dude, just pull it up. Oh, Steve. So simple. So...
Yeah, old school 3D printer. So you'll put that in there, and then we gotta find that material. Okay. Let's go find our material. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. All right, all right, all right. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. Yeah, I'm leaving the knife. I get it. Oh, it's so great. It's so wonderful. But I don't like using it, so... Time to get attacked. Oh. Give me that extinguisher. Right on. Right on. Okay. So here's the deal. Oh, it's locked from the other side. So we're gonna get attacked. No surprise there. Ah, oh, I hate these things. Wow, that was close. Anyway, now I'm gonna go back and... Unlock the padlock, because it was way too close. We were definitely going to get bit. There we go. Now we don't have to deal with them anymore. want to run right past them. Oh, Jesus. Fixed camera angle, though. Oh, should I just deal with these guys? Ah, you bum. Goddamn naked zombies. Um... Yeah, there's multiples. Let's just do that. Don't you dare get up. Good. Okay, now... Get our briefcase. And this, if I remember correctly, should have the material we need to duplicate the plates. Hit that button. Of course I want to push that button. Product description. Okay, I get it. It's just telling us that it's anti-metal material. That guy's name was Red Hill. Wonder if he lived down the street from the Red Fields. Not the most creative <laughs> name. 
stuff going on at Capcom back then, but whatever. Out of my way, you naked bums. Alright. Yes, hello, Poochie. Any metallic items so. you have in the security box. Yes, we can already hear them banging on the damn wall. So, classic Resident Evil fashion. You already know these guys are coming through. Alright, let's get us a hot plate. Alright. Oh, here we go. That's actually some crazy tech for back yonder. Oh, but then I have to... No, I'm not going to save. I was going to say that I'm stuck carrying those ink ribbons around. I don't remember if they're metal or not. The case. Nevertheless. I don't want to deal with it. Oh, now you just kind of have to take this. This is the annoying part. Oh, God. These fixed camera angles are tough. So yeah, uh, eventually later in the game we can get that stuff back from the deposit box because there is something in there that we definitely need to get. Ahem, it's that empty fire extinguisher. We will need it later. Oh, okay, for some reason I thought I forgot to pick up the stupid plate. Uh oh. Oh, dude, they put them in the worst freaking spots, honestly. Like. Ah, they, they, they. These zombies spawn, like, right in front of you just as the camera angle turns. My orange caution? No. Well, I know that. Why would you even want to cross this bridge at all? <laughs> Forget using the regular part. I don't trust that thing. Yes, I know, but just get the get the bullets clear. You can do it. There we go. Alright. Climb over this fire. Here we go. Okay, I do have to practice my enemy avoidance, though. That's for sure. Because it ain't gonna get any easier. Oh! Oh, there we go. <laughs> I got you now. 
Because I'm going to get hammered by these dogs now. Suck it. Should I get the proof now? Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna say, of course, of course. These goddamn dogs, man. La Mansion. I'm equipping this because this room is dark. And there's bats in it. And the bats will bite you if you don't have it. Yeah, we need a lockpick for that that case. And it's not the only case that needs a lockpick, so. It's, and the lockpick is one of those things you don't actually have to get. But we're gonna try and do everything in this walkthrough, so. Secretary's note. This save room theme is so good, though. Like, okay, the soundtrack in this game, one of the best for sure. Has to be. It's gotta be. Take me ink ribbons. Take the herb. card now this we don't actually have to carry this you just need the number on the back so I'm gonna write it down quickly because I just don't want to take up the inventory space so I'll get rid of that right away after we do a quick save Okay. Get out of here. You get out of here. You get out of here. I'm just gonna roll with one herb. So we come to this bad boy right here. Okay, what was it? N T C zero three nine four. So this should unlock 
Get a door over there. Here we go. And no, I did not forget about that first aid spray in the other room. But I'm just leaving our inventory open for now. We can always get on the way back. That guy's too close. Need the better gun. Door locked. Okay. Oh, the red herb. Okay. And this is, see, and this is why I try to not prematurely use green herbs when we're in yellow caution. So you never know when you might find a red one. Make it even better. Okay. Oh, movie time. Some twisted little kids. All right. Give me the pirate wheel. These bad boys, I don't even think we have room for them. It's a good thing we don't, actually, because it's kind of a trap. But yeah, we'll see that later. Anyway. I'll go and get that first aid spray. There we go, very nice. Take that out and mix them quickly. There we go, very nice. Okay, I'm gonna leave that at part one. Um, because we did get it quite a bit done. Got into the mansion, but we're gonna take that pirate ship wheel and go full Jack Sparrow when you use that bad boy next. Get to the next part. And we'll go from there. Alright, I'll see you guys then. <laughs>